Hello everyone, this is Charles Bridge Tech with another product review, this time on a car jump starter. Now this here is from AC Mount or AC Mount, not too sure how they want to pronounce it, but has the built-in LED flashlight and USB. Now they sent this to me, they wanted me to test and review this compact unit. It comes in this box. Now they do have an Amazon store. Same thing on both sides. So let's wait no further. Let's open it up, see what's in. I can't stress how many times I've been saved with one of these. So if you don't have one, you definitely should get one. They really are critical uh, just like you would have an extra quart of oil in your car flashlights you know anything first aid kit you know tissue any of that type of stuff this is something you should include in that arsenal comes in a nice little case here it is molded so you can easily See, it'll keep its shape. Alright, so now let's go ahead and open it up. Now, believe it or not, I've used these mostly on other people. Um, I've been lucky, haven't had to use it on my own vehicle too much, but we did have an older Corolla that uh, did have to use it quite a bit, and it worked every time. So, these things uh, really can get you out of a, a bad situation quickly and safely, most of all. So, we're going to take out the jumper cables here, show them to you. Now, these here are a little bit smaller, so these are more of a compact. wire there pretty thick on the wire there now they also want me to reiterate that they want you to hook up the jumper cables first to the vehicle and then plugging this into the unit first then pressing the power to provide that power you need to jump start the car safely you don't want to cause any sparks and you can't reverse polarity this because it does have that protection and here's the type C charging cable and you get a happy or sad card as well as their email address should you have any questions or complaints here's the user manual and it looks like pretty good detailed information here looks like it is multi-language as well yep Nice little booklet. I usually keep them down inside just for future reference. Now this here is a nice case. It is lined and has like a, looks like it has a foam cut out here for the unit. Can take it out. Nice quality on the case. Here's the unit. Some of my other ones are quite a bit bigger. It looks like it's got a little built-in compass. I don't know how accurate that is. Not too sure what that is. Maybe to 
break a window or something. There's the flashlight there. Now here's the jump jumper cables port. And then you've got the USB type C regular port and you've got your high output port. Well, let's go ahead and try out that high output port and uh, see how it does. Okay, so I've got a little portable power bank. I use these quite a bit. It's only got 56%. Let's just see how much this port puts out. I'm using the supplied cable. And we've got everything hooked up there. And we'll turn it on. Right at 99%. It's got a nice OLED display. And kicking out at 8.9 volts, almost 9 volts at 2000 milliamps. So that's, that's a high output. That's a QC level. So that is impressive. That's going to quickly charge up your cell phone. And let's check the other port here. Things are pretty stiff in here. And now we have 2 amp at 5 volt. Yep, there you go. So that's a standard charging rate for that port there. Impressive. Right, now let me see what this does. Okay. Yeah, it is a input only for that type C port. So let's see what it does when you're charging the unit. Hoping that would be a PD output on that. That would have been really nice. So it shows you it's blinking in there on the display. Try to get my camera to focus. So you can see that changes from input. And then when you're using the jump starter, it says output. So that's good. So now you can see there it says out. Input to blinks and the out stays on. Nice bright display. And it is saying fast on there as well. See if that changes. I want to use the other port. Yeah, it did change. So it's showing you your regular 5 volt. See if I can do that. Show it there. And now it says fast. And this fast one kicks out at 9 volts, almost 2,000 milliamp. There it goes. That's nice. Alright, well that's good for there. Especially if you're needing something. I don't know how many times I've been to some event or something and you forget to bring a your cell phone charger for you for some reason something always happens and uh, I know I always have these in the car I just grab it and uh, charge up my cell phone or my wife's cell phone 
Either way, you got power when you need it, wherever you need it. Well, here's the specs there on the bottom. Shows you the model number is the P100. There's that nine volt, two amp. Now according to this one here, it says it'll do 12 volt, but I'm not getting that out of this unit. So that means it would be a PD output, but I'm not getting that number out of this. So rugged ABS design. It's lightweight. Now according to them, they are using the polymer batteries. And I believe there's several of them stacked in here. So now let's go ahead and take a look here at the flashlight. Press down and hold. Yep. Pretty much standard. Ah, that's about 50 lumens. Cool white. See the beam here. Hot spot. Tapering spill, which is typical for this, for the special optics on there. You got your SOS. Got your regular flashing. And back to the regular flashlight. If you're broke down on the side of the road, you gotta walk. You've got light. Also, if you gotta jump start your car, you need to be able to see what you're doing. You've got light to be able to light up your battery. And uh, hook up the cables first, then hook the other end to your unit here, turn on the power, and get ready to start your vehicle. Press down and hold. Okay, just a quick demonstration of the AC mount flashlight built in. Let's go ahead and get it turned on. So you can see there, nice little hot spot and a tapering spill because of the special optics. It'll run a long time on this little built-in flashlight. When you don't have any light, this will be a lifesaver. Well, that's all I'm going to do with this. I don't have any vehicle to jump start with it, but I will test it out and uh, hopefully be able to test it out the very next one. Probably end up keeping this in a vehicle of mine, maybe even at work. And when someone does need a jump, I can just run out there and help them out. So. These are a must-have if you do drive a vehicle. Cannot stress that enough. Okay, well, I want to thank AC Mount or AC Mount for sending me this jump starter to review. Now, if this is something you are interested in getting, I will leave a link down below the video where you can get this. I'm also working on a special discount code, and if I do get that, That'll help you save some money on this, just in case you're interested in getting it. Well, that's it for me. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that thanks button. Donate to my channel if you wish. Otherwise, you can please share, like, and subscribe. That way I can bring more of these jump starters from Ask Mount, AC Mount, to you in the future. Thanks for watching.
Take care. Well, let's take this outside, see how it does in the wilderness. <laughs>